Victimology Theories and Applications, Chapter 10, Stalking Victims. Case Examples, Donette Knight and Catherine Data Jones and Michael Douglas. Scope of the Problem, the lifetime prevalence of stalking ranges from 2 to 13% for males and 8 to 32% for females. 60 to 80% of the victims were female. Stalking is most likely to emerge from a pre-existing relationship. 79% of victims know their pursuer and half of all stalking emerged from romantic relationships. Physical violence is reported in 32% of cases and sexual violence in 12% of cases. Common stalking behaviors, table 10.1 from your textbook, include repeated telephone calls, letters, or emails, sending unwanted, unwanted gifts, including flowers and candy, showing up uninvited at work or home, intercepting mail or email, following, watching, or tracking, collecting photos or videos of the person, contacting the victim's employer, colleagues, or family, threatening harm to the victim, threatening the victim's family, friends, or pets, vandalizing the victim's car or property, assault, which can be physical, sexual, or emotional, kidnapping, or hostage holding. Stalking Laws. 1990, California passed the first stalking law in the Western world. By 2000, stalking laws existed in all U.S. states, Australia, Canada, the U.K., and several Western European countries. Stalking legislation generally covers repeated following or harassing an individual where the behavior of the pursuer contains a credible threat of harm. Typology of stalking. Stalking is a pattern of behavior that is intrusive, repeated, and fear-provoking. Motivations for stalking differ. Stalking as an extension of domestic violence, celebrity stalkers, erotomania stalkers, and sexually sadistic stalkers. Early classifications. Number one, the classic erotomania stalker who is often a woman with delusional belief that a powerful man is in love with her, for example, her doctor. Number two, the love-obsessed stalker who is delusionally focused on a famous person, for example, an actor or a politician. And number three, the simple obsession stalker who stalks a former partner with intense resentment as a result of perceived rejection. This early classification system is by Zona, Sharma, and Lane. Early classification number two. Number one, the rejected stalker. Number two, the intimacy-seeking stalker who often has erotomanic delusions. Number three, the incompetent stalker who may be intellectually or socially limited. Number four, the resentful stalker who seeks to frighten or distress the victim. Number five, the predatory stalker who is preparing for sexual assault. This second classification is by Mullen, Pathé, Purcell, and Stewart. Stalking is an extension of intimate partner violence. 75 to 80% of all stalking cases, twice as likely for women than for men, 81% of women being stalked by an intimate partner also reported other forms of physical abuse, and 31% had been sexually assaulted. Victims of IPV who attempt to separate are often at higher risk after the separation than before. Feelings of rejection turn to rage. Celebrity stalkers. Types. Love-obsessed. Related to a psychotic illness and results in delusional beliefs rage due to a perceived injustice. An example, actress Rebecca Schaefer's 1989 murder created even more of an awareness to push for anti-stalking legislation. Erotomanic stalkers, de Clermont-Boltz syndrome, Delu delusional loving, which is a love relationship that exists only in fantasy, believes that a person of higher social stature is passionately in love with them him or her, but that this person is restricted from expressing this love because of external constraints. 8 to 11 percent of mental health professionals, 20 to 33 percent of psychiatrists and psychologists have been stalked by a patient. Sexually sadistic stalkers, most distressing type of stalker from a public perspective, but relatively rare, has been a focus of legislative activity in Canada and the United States in recent years. Stalking occurs when a violent and dangerous offender seeks a victim to satisfy his desires. A particular victim is selected because she represents a particular type of person to whom the offender is attracted. Effects of stalking on victims. Feel that they are under siege. 
fear, anxiety, and apprehension that sometimes may border on paranoia, depression, anger, and helplessness occasionally leading to suicidal ideation, arousal, intrusion, and avoidance symptoms associated with post-traumatic stress disorder, and social disruption. Safety strategy for victims, table 10.3 taken from your textbook, accept responsibility for own safety, develop surveillance strategies, enlist the assistance of others, increase security for home, work, and travel, document incidents and retain evidence, avoid contact and never initiate contact, obtain legal orders, including peace bonds, restraining orders, or protection orders, and re relocate or stay in a shelter. Threat assessment of stalkers includes reason for the contact, emotional response, thought content, contact pattern and predatory behaviors, and preoccupation. Treatment of stalkers. Highly challenging, considerable pessimism not motivated to change. Delusional stalkers with erotomania are best treated with psychotropic medications. Involuntary commitment and treatment may be an option when there is defined mental illness and a problem, probable risk of harm. Predatory or sexually sadistic stalkers are generally only dealt with through the justice and correctional systems. That ends this narrated version of this PowerPoint presentation.